everybody. All right, today I'm gonna to be trying out the Arteza uh, Matte Finish uh, Iridescent Acrylic Paints. Get a little closer so you can see that. The set comes with these colors. They're basically like a flash paints or iridescent. If you can see that, uh, you can see a little bit of it. Gotta get it just right though. But this has like a purple flash to it. Very pretty colors, indeed. The white has like a pink flash. It's very subtle and it's kind of sheer, so I think it's probably gonna be a transparent. The colors I have, the white is called Playful Pink. Glowing Peach. Fairy Tale Blue. And I have some Dioxazine Purple uh, mixed with Titanium White just to brighten it up a bit. These paints have been mixed. One part paint to two parts Floetrol. And the Arteza paints didn't need to be thinned with water at all. They were the right consistency, just like that. And the uh, purple I thinned with my 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture until I got the proper consistency, which is, you can see it there, it's about a two, one and a half, or a two on my thickness scale. It disappears almost immediately. It forms the slightest of mounds and then it disappears. Okay, before I get started, let me quickly show you my Go Make Some Art Fluid Art Inspiration Cards. It's time for my personal commercial. The cards have eight bonus palette cards, each one having five different palettes on it. And there are 42 technique cards, each also having its own color palette. Plus, the two boxes are meant to be complementary. So if you wanted to do a two color pour or just take these two colors and add black or white, you can do that for any of these cards. And each card also has an associated uh, video. So you can go to my YouTube and watch the tutorial if it's a technique that you don't know how to do. Plenty of different combinations. Should you pull, uh, let's say, oh, a ring pour. Oh, but I already did these colors. So you can pick a color off of one of the bonus palettes or just pick another deck of cards and do the palette or pick another technique and use the palette that's on there. Lots of different ways to use it. And folks are using it for their pouring classes, for beading, for crochet work. It's pretty cool hearing all of the uh, interesting ways that people are using these cards. I love it. Please keep that stuff coming in because I love hearing that stuff. First thing I'm going to do is put some of my base color in the cup to make sure I have enough. Eh, that should be fine. Okay, let's put down our base coat. Okay, 
base coat is down and now to put the rest of the paints in the cup I think I will do pink and then blue and then white. There it is in the cup. Let's make a mess. As you get towards the end, get closer. This will give you more control. Okay, let's stretch this baby out and see what happens. Hmm. I'm gonna come this way first. grabbing my corner catcher. I don't want to tilt off more than I have to. Not just yet, anyway. Notice how slowly I am tilting. It's not a race. And the more I stretch, the more cells will likely pop up. bringing the paint back to center before I change directions. All right, I need to move this corner catcher.
It's very hard to get these big canvases in frame without putting my camera all the way across the room. Bringing everything back to center again. I think I want to pull this down this way. Stretch that out a bit more. I'm trying very hard to keep this in frame. The more I move this around and give the paints a chance to stretch and pop up, the more cells you will start to see. But you must be very, very mindful when you're doing this to keep an eye on your composition. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and we will see what happens. It's very pretty, it's very soft. All right, I'll bring you in for a close up, back in a few. Okay, here it is, the dried piece. It definitely looks different than it did when it was wet. That white has kind of disappeared and blended into that blue, which is looking a bit green on this camera. But you can definitely see the flash. Uh, this is so hard to capture. Trying to 
get those best angles where you can see the difference. So we got some cell action, not a whole lot, and there actually is a little bit of texture. If I can, no, you can't really see it very well. But there is a bit of, uh, you can feel like an indentation. Uh, maybe you can see it there. But all in all, it's pretty. There's not a great deal of contrast. I mean, not for my liking. Although, it is just very soft. Uh, perhaps I'll embellish it, unless someone falls in love with it as is. But there it is. I will try this again uh, with a lighter background. These paints are obviously transparent. As the purple is kind of shining through them. You can tell that's not opaque. Fully opaque anyway. All right, well, I hope you learned something I did. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. That helps me stay stocked up in supplies. As does my Amazon store if you enter through the link that is provided in the description box. Anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. Looks like those cells cracked a little bit. Interesting. Uh, also in the description box is linked to my website, ginadeluca.net. That is where you can find my art and my music for sale as well as the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards. And join our Facebook group, Go Make Smart. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. This color reminds me of opal, like the flash that's in it opal. So I definitely wanna try this with a lighter color and see if I can get that opal -y effect. Uh, I think that's it. Check out my music video, Better Than Chocolate. Uh, it is in the description box. will probably be appearing on your screen any second in the end screen. I, be I think that's it. Can't think of anything else. Okay. That's it for me. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.